Hi, and welcome to my browse guide for Valheim. My name is Icon, and this video will guide you through everything you might want to know about this wonderful shiny metal. We're going to talk about the acquisition, the manufacturing, and the general use of that metal across this video. So I'll start with the acquisition. So to actually start mining, you need to beat the first boss in the game, and I'm not gonna spoiler how and what, all you need to know is you will craft the first pickaxe in the game out of the materials this boss drops. This won't be the brass pickaxe I'm wielding here, but it will be similar, just worse. Then you will be allowed to venture forth into the Black Forest. So the Black Forest yields everything you need to start smeltering. So inside the forest itself you will find brass deposits which will look a lot like this so i'm running to one i've already marked myself here so the difference between a copper deposit and a non-copper deposit is quite simple let's walk between these two to in, to emphasize it a bit so you see here that's a regular stone let's run back to the copper stone and then it will be quite obvious so the copper stone has already these veins visible when you when you walk closer to it and depending on the light situation you are quite able to see that pretty easily keep in mind that here you will be always and constantly swarmed by enemies so you should already be able to tackle those guys but don't you worry a regular armor made out of deer hide is already pretty decent so this is copper it will be you can find that basically everywhere on the land mass of the black forest the other material you will need is tin. Tin can be found here at the shores and it looks like this. These little blobs here are tin deposits. So tin doesn't come in these big lumps, instead it comes in these small rocks. So you pack out your pickaxe, you give it a few swings, of course with the lower quality pickaxe you'll need a few more swings and then for copper it works quite similar. So the thing here is, as you might already notice, the copper deposit is way larger than the tin deposit and that's that has a good reason behind that because you will need for every bar of bronze, you will need two copper ore and one tin ore. So as you've seen here, maybe the first swing here didn't even yield a copper ore. So this is one of the most ungrateful pieces of work in the game because you will have to chunk through a lot of stone. And the first early game pickaxes don't have the best, dur best durability, so you will have to walk back and forth a lot between your base. But you won't be able to do nothing without these items without having a smelter installed. So a smelter needs certling cores. Certling cores are easily obtainable also in the Black Forest. So I'll show you where to go. When you walk through the Black Forest, you will always find a lot of useful things. I'm not going to spoiler all, uh, all about that, but among these are these graves or crypts. I marked one of those already, so just walking towards one of them. And here are a few general tips about the Black Forest if you are new to this. You should always bring your best gear if you are new to it. And a bow is very useful against trolls coming up. And apart from that, if you ever get outnumbered, just make a run for it. Especially in the early game, the, the enemies here can really swarm and beat you down quite easily. And there's no shame in retreating, especially since you have to regather all your stuff. So, we're almost there. Apart from that, I always like to have the bow with me. Not only because of the trolls, but also because of deers, if you still need that stuff. So these places here, inside there, you'll find your circling cores necessary to build your smelters. So, now we got the ore and the materials to build a smelter. So, mind this item here, these items can't be teleported. So, even if your people on your servers, on your server got some portals or anything going on, you always have to carry ores manually. 
All right, so I'm going to pause here for a moment and teleport the video to my base, and then we're going to talk about what's happening next. So, back at home. At home you will need at least a smelting furnace, and I strongly recommend you to build that charcoal kiln as well, because you will need coal to smelter metals. So you just put in the coal there, and the ores go back here, and then the smelter does the rest of the job. You will receive out of this copper, ba uh, copper ingots and tin ingots. They will look like this. These will then need to be refined at the forge into actual bronze bars. So you see here, copper and tin. So to produce the forge, well, ask your building menu. Well, I haven't. So yeah, here. So to make the forge, you will need a few copper bars to begin with. So that's going to be the, the start of everything. So once you got these things, bronze enables you to a lot of new things. So first up, bronze gives you the, the ability to craft new armor, sure. Armor is pretty decent and valuable, but not only do you receive combat stats from bronze, you also have the ability to craft a bronze axe and of course the bronze pickaxe. So the bronze pickaxe I already showcased here, never mind what the trolls did. They just slammed a tree into my base while I was recording this tutorial. But the new axe is very very important for you because a bronze axe will enable you to cut birch trees. Birch trees were originally too hard to cut when you started out the game. Now I'm looking for one but it seems like I already harvested a lot around my home area. So birch trees are the white ones with black speckles. Usually they are way more than that, but around my home area we already harvested a lot of them. But mm, that's not too important. You are, you surely already noticed them. So with the new axe you're uh, able to acquire a new type of wood and therefore this will speed up your progression. Bronze also brings you new weapons. That's more firepower in general. And after you're done with acquiring everything you might want to, want to have bronze, you will be looking forward to new challenges, and that's going to be the swamp. There you will find the next step if you want to proceed past bronze. Ah, here, finally. So birch trees, you see here, they are now finally cuttable with this tool. The bronze pickaxe doesn't enable you to anything new. Well, I don't know if you need it for the next metal, but you will automatically want the next pickaxe because it's just a straight out upgrade. And the rest of that is just, well, more firepower. You will also receive new crafting benches and such things, but I don't want to spoiler that too much. Overall, acquiring or unlocking bronze is the first step out of the early game for, for Valheim. And once you're there, you're also able to create new foods, new new clothing, and a lot of other things that will make your life a lot easier. So I hope that helped you a little bit without spoiling too much. I really tried to keep the spoilers as low as possible. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions left up there. I'm trying I'm going to do my best to answer them. Also leave a like or a subscribe if that helped you out. I'd be deeply grateful for your support. And if you like that type of content, check out my channel. You'll find way more sandbox gaming stuff on there. So I hope you guys will smelter some bronze and have some fun with Walheim. Catch you then. Bye bye.